Hi all, let's have a look at another fascinating game of Adolf Anderson. Uh, so here's one of the top players in the world, along with Paul Morphy. This play, this game was played against Karl Mayer, who was playing white in Berlin, Germany, 1859. We have e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, pretty standard stuff. Now we have bishop c5, this is the classical defence, bishop c5 c3 knight f6 now white played bishop takes c6 this is not very popular nowadays in my book actually d3 is very popular in this position this sort of continuation looks fairly standard so why does white give up the the bishop there what is his intention we have d takes c6, white castles, and now bishop g4 celebrating this light square bishop which white does not have. h3, is the bishop going to be pushed back? Not in this game. We see h5, a fishing pole kind of contraption. The fishing pole aims to celebrate the lazy rook on h8. It's not going to be involved necessarily in castling, but uh, in trying to whip up an attack sometimes if white ever dares take here. In fact, white did dare take. H takes G. And this is already a very, very critical position for white because you can see there are some dangers lurking here. Stuff like this. Queen can come in. It looks all very, very dangerous stuff. In fact, one of the very best moves white can play here is D4. This, this should actually be okay for white. Uh, as an example, g takes, d takes is fine for white, good for white in fact. So yeah, d4 is the move here, but uh, it wasn't uh, played. Technically that's a good move. And by the way, on knight takes, there's queen e1. And we have interesting positions like this where knight g5 is possible stopping queen h4 so it takes then there's queen takes e5 yeah there's resources available but they all stem from this uh, d4 move but in this game we have knight takes e5 now uh, in this position in fact already black has technically an absolutely winning move against any defense believe it or not and he didn't play it that's a very interesting thing about games from this era. They can sometimes look absolutely brilliant and wonderful, but um, we, we can find better moves with engines nowadays, uh, technically. But you know, great, great credit to them for their creativity. You know, the Morphys and Andersons. But this move here seems to be an inaccuracy. G three seems to be. Uh, yeah, G three seems to be an inaccuracy. Uh, in this position, and it's it's interesting to, to know why, but yeah, it basically comes down to d4 here. d4 on knight takes it looks mega dangerous, like black is threatening, for example, check, check, and mate looks mega dangerous, but fg and white's actually okay. Again, it looks scary, but white's actually okay in this position. So yeah, G3 is um, is what was played though. For those interested though, Knight takes E4 is actually technically a winning move in this position. If you ever get this position, this is actually a winning for Black. And I find this behind the scenes tactics as beautiful as the game tactics in in some respects, because you might think, well, weakness of the last move. This pawn is neglected, right? So Queen takes G4. Let's say. Can you see what black has here, which I found quite interesting? Pyrotechnics. Black to play here. What would you play with black? There is actually a winning combination here by force. If you look at the clinical moves, you might be able to find it. If I give you five seconds to pause the video, can you find the combination? 
Okay, it's bishop takes f2, rook takes f2, rook h1 check, king takes, knight takes, winning the queen. It's wonderful stuff. And it's a recurring tactical combination which is missed <laughs> in, 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 in this game, actually. Uh, we see d4. And here, uh, knight takes e4 was played. Okay, so knight takes e4. Uh, what's better than knight takes e4? Well, actually, you know this this is good for white now after d4. So it's it's. Uh, there's, there's actually yeah it's it's difficult but white actually reacts now with queen g4 and we see that reaction echoed again that we've just seen uh, white should play f takes g3 here and should be okay is actually it's opening up the default rook here talk about default rooks this default rook is on f7 here if knight takes rook e1 this is fine for white yeah there's uh, nasties for the, the king in the center, of course. Uh, but we see actually queen uh, g4. So this tactic, yes, takes, takes, check, is available. It's been missed again, basically. Uh, but white plays an, an interesting move. Bishop takes d4. Sorry, black plays an interesting bishop takes d4 instead, which has some venom. And um, this this is uh, good for black anyway. Now this is very very good for black. Uh, in any case, it's just one hundred percent check. I think uh, yeah, black's black's doing extremely well with bishop takes d four as well as g takes f two. Uh, so what's happened here? This this rook is really quite formidable. The pin is dangerous. Uh, white takes on e four. Uh, if c takes d4, then funny enough with that theme again, g takes and rook h1 check. <clears throat> so we have queen takes e4. But uh, what black has done is actually really clever in its own right now. Black to play here. He's created like new resources available for the attack. Black to play, what would you play with black in this position? It's pretty forcing stuff. Bishop takes f2 check. Rook takes f2. Now there's actually the choice of what was played, which is queen d1 or rook h1. Both have the same effect. Queen d1, rook f1, and rook h1 check. Yeah, back row mate there with that form pawn and uh, in fact you can play it like this as well back row mate like that Whoa. back row mate like that as well if you wanted so it's interesting the tactics that are really quickly generated with the fishing pole this game shows some relevant combinations with the fishing pole this drag and drop tactic rook h1 is created as we see in many of the variations in this game wasn't entirely technically sound so the critical moment yeah so it's a bit dangerous to play this if white plays d4 here at the critical moment it seems uh yeah this this is fine funny enough with queen e1 here it seems as though yeah it's it's difficult to bust this uh you you might think well hold, hold on hold on there's some possibilities here isn't there g takes because we're still threatening this. Queen takes e4, holds h4. If this, just ignore that pawn. And then what? White's just better. So it's technically unsound, but you need to play extremely accurately with white. This d4 is worth, you know, remembering here if you want to try and refute this stuff with with black. But it's tricky. Uh, so interesting stuff and interesting uh, variations behind the scenes. Comments, questions, like, shares appreciated. Thanks very much.